good morning sluts. We're going to egg slut. I'm looking comfy today. I'm wearing leggings and my new sneaks. I got these new glasses. So yeah, we're going to egg slut. So come along and join us on this journey of experiencing slutty eggs. There's McDonald's right there. We still haven't gone to McDonald's, but maybe today. We made it to egg slut. Look what's been delivered. My sandwich. Yay. It's a bacon, egg, and cheese with avocado. Bacon and bacon and cheese. Egg slut did not disappoint. However, I did get pretty messy. My hands got all eggy and my face got all eggy. But I cleaned myself up. So. We're gonna try to go to a cat cafe now because we have to complete the trifecta of cafes. Unfortunately, they don't have raccoon cafes like they do in Korea. Damn, we're gonna have to go to Korea. Got my drink, a little piece of cats, got a strawberry latte. <laughs> How many licks does it take to get to the center of the tootsie pop? One has its paw on my hand. <laughs> like, don't move. Do you want some? <laughs>
finished my ramen. It was an interesting experience. The restaurant was really tiny and quiet. No one was like talking, which was cool. It was nice to just focus on eating instead of like having a conversation. It was nice that it wasn't loud in there. There were some good jams going on. <laughs> so that was a really cool experience and the ramen was tasty. So I'm happy. some dessert now. Post facial dessert. <laughs> it's the year of the dragon. I got a strawberry macaroon cream filled thingy. That is flan. Hello there. I got this weird thingy. Never had this before in my life. It looks like a macaroon with strawberry cream and strawberries. And I think it's gonna taste good. So let's try. Mm. Wow. It's really sweet. <laughs> mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? We're at some restaurant. That's really cool. We get our own private room. And it's similar to last night. We get our own little cow that I'm going to take with me. Flashback of last night, except we have a private room and we don't smell like beef. I smell like beef. Have you seen that meme of that little girl? Mm -hmm. This is um, sashimi. So it's uncooked beef, but I hear that it's very high quality, and we're gonna get my reaction. I'm eating it on camera for the first time. It doesn't taste bad. It's just me and my brain being like, that's uncooked meat. <laughs> I won't waste. I don't really like the sea or chicken. the texture that's getting me. Kind of like, first night I eat chicken liver, beef liver. That was gross. This is better. <laughs> or to give it a rating out of 10, it'd be like 7 out of 10. If it were cooked, it would be higher. I'm proud of myself though. What's that thing right there? Oh, butter. Oh. We got some beef tongue and some kind of sauce. Look at the froggies. It's so cute. Look, there's a fight. Oh, really? Right there. Let's go look at it. Are they really fighting? I think so. The police aren't breaking it up, though. Oh, hey. <laughs> I didn't know you were recording. <laughs> we're in another little alleyway and it's wet on the ground. We're done with dinner. Went on a little walk in the alleyway. Now we're walking back to the hotel. On the way, we're gonna stop and get some snacks because I have money left on my super card and I wanna spend it all so I can have snacks for the airport and the plane tomorrow because I'm heading back to LA tomorrow. Kind of crazy.
This is almost the end of this vlog. If you have made it this far, I'm proud of you. <laughs> Good morning! Today is the last day. We're heading to get breakfast and then heading to the airport and then I'll be back in the United States, back to routine and normal life. Ooh, the sun. Uh, we're at a retro cafe. It's pretty cute. I would say they did their job. Good morning. I have all this food to myself. Isn't that crazy? It's my pre-airport meal. Pizza toast pancakes and a BLT. <laughs> Yum. Bon appetit. We're heading to the train. Let's go to the airport. <laughs> Hello. You're probably wondering, what do you have on your face, Dharma? I have a sugar mask that I got from Tokyo. I'm drinking a cup of tea. I wanted to close out this vlog by talking about my experience in Tokyo. I wanted to talk about how I was feeling before I got there. I was definitely feeling very anxious. This was my first time overseas. The only other country I've traveled to was Canada a handful of times growing up. So this was my first international trip and I had a lot of anxiety flying over the Pacific Ocean for the first time and also going to a country where I didn't know the language. Luckily, I was with someone who kind of had some knowledge about the country, had been there before and spoke some of the language. So I was really taken care of. I was very spoiled during this trip with all the food, all the clothes, and all the souvenirs um, and experiences. We packed in a lot of activities in a short amount of time, but honestly, I'm very content with how the trip went. When it was the night before I got on the plane to leave, it felt kind of bittersweet because, of course, you want to stay and explore more, but also like want to come home and be back in routine. So. I am happy to be home. I'm all unpacked. I don't know when my next trip will be, but my sister is coming next month. So that will be fun. I might bring her somewhere in California, maybe like San Diego. Anyway, I am really proud of myself for traveling internationally. I definitely faced a fear. I'm excited to do it again. Don't know where it'll be next time, but I feel more prepared to travel to other countries now and I wanted to say a big thank you for watching this vlog and supporting my channel and supporting me and I'll be back with more soon and I'll definitely be back with a clothing haul enjoy all of the content I love you lots cheers Mwah. Good night. <laughs>